Hello everyone, welcome back to Valley of the Mist Block of the Month. I'm Adrian Ritter. And I'm Shelly McNeely. And this is our September 2024 Block of the Month. So, this beautiful block Shelly came up with, and we really struggled <laughs> thinking of a name, but she just had to give it a name, and we went with 3DX. So, I hope you can see it. This was the one we were talking about in the beginning of the year that you had to have a good contrast. Mm -hmm. And and the good contrast is you have to have, the like we said at the beginning of the year, our focus fabric doesn't have black in it. And if it did, we would have put black in these corners. That's true, yes. But <clears throat> you need a really dark color in the corners to make that 3D effect. But um, Shelly's gonna go over with you everything you need for this block. Okay. So here again, we're going to use our focus fabric for the year. This is if you turn your blocks in for the drawing at the guild meeting. And this is uh, Yalka, designed by June Smith for m and Textiles. And if you are not making them for the guild, then you can use whatever focus fabric you want for the quilt you're making. Okay, so for this block, you're going to need two four inch squares of focus fabric. And for the white, you're gonna need four four inch squares. For the light coordinating, you're gonna need four four inch squares. For the dark coordinating, you're gonna need four three and a half inch squares. Those are for the corners. And then you're gonna need a medium to a dark colored coordinating fabric. And that, and that you're gonna need two four inch squares. Okay, so like we mentioned earlier, this is the first of the last third of the year that these are combinations of squares, rectangles, and half square triangles. So in this one, we only have squares and half square triangles, but close enough. Works for us. Yes. <laughs> no, hey, hey, four less half, eight less half square triangles because we have these four corners that are just a square of fabric. Uh, so remember we do have a video that talks about making half square triangles so we're not going to go into detail in that and that's in our um, list of videos and it's called half squared but what we need you to do is pair up the fabrics that you have not including this dark coordinating fabric which is just the way it is and Shelly you want to tell them the pairing okay so you're going to have to pair up two whites with two light coordinating fabrics. And then you pair up a one white with a focus, another white with a medium, that medium to dark coordinating. And then you're going to take another light coordinating and pair it with a medi the medium to dark coordinating. And then a light coordinating with the focus. So there's five different color combos in here. And if you have the white with one of the combos, then use that for your top fabric when making your half square triangles and otherwise you should have the light coordinating and why i say that is that even though we're not going into a lot of detail um on when you're making half square triangles you, one method or the other you're either going to draw a line down the center two lines a quarter inch away from the center or some other method that you use you, you, any line drawing you would do on the lighter of the two mm -hmm. fabrics. Um, make sure you pair them right sides together. After you have sewn on either side of, of, the, of the square, then you're going to cut on the diagonal of that square to get your two half square triangles out of that fabric. And then once you do that, we want you to press them. Now, if this is confusing, just press them open, which is not necessarily the, the easiest way to press them, but it is the less possibly confusing way to go about this. But we like when we can make the pairs nest and, and kind of lock together and get a nice, nice sharp point. Uh, and so the way that I came up to do with it, do this is of each color combination, and remember there's five different color combinations. You're gonna press half of them to the, to the light fabric and half to the dark fabric. Okay, so that's sad. Oh, and then after you press them, you're gonna end up with 
like um, like say this combo, which is my focus and my white, and then you need to trim it. And these trim to three and a half inch square. So you're just going to use you know um, something with a 45 degree line. You're going to put the 45 degree line right down the center, and you're going to trim. Make sure you've got over sized at first and then trim an, a, a nice edge on one side and then turn it around and trim it to the right size. Okay, so so once we have, was it, did I miss anything, Shelly? I don't think so, so far I think we're good. Okay, so, so sometimes at this point we would just go and make our half square triangles and come back and and then talk about the next step, but I'm, I'm pretty ready, other than, than these which I don't have finished. I want to talk to you about how to um, lay these squares up here in a way that that makes sense, which this is why I said you might want to press them <laughs> open because I'm not sure Shelly even understands my, my thought on this yet. But here's what I figured out was that <laughs> she said she didn't think I could explain it, but I can't. I can't. We okay. couldn't write it. That's yeah, we sure. couldn't write it. Okay, so you're gonna have of each color combination, you're gonna have one pressed each way. Now, starting and 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 the block is symmetrical, so you could turn it and it would still work the same way. But you you'd have to use the same method, but maybe the colors would go in a different order. Okay, so in this case. I'm going to call this column one. And in column one, I started this one, I, I pressed it to the to the lighter of the two. Now keep in mind, the light on each pair is not necessarily the same. If it's the white, the white's always going to be the light. But if you've paired a light coordinating and a dark coordinating, then now the light coordinating would be the lighter. Okay, so I'm, I'm talking about the way you pressed it to, not that the tone of the fabric, not the not the the actual one. Okay, so so in this combo, I press this one to the white. So it's so I press to the light to start, and so then this one would be the one that I press to the dark. And now when I go to the next row, because I started to the light, in this row I start pressed to the dark. So in that case, it, it pressed to to this one, and then the next one I press to the lighter, which also was a, the one on this downside. So I went dark, light, dark, light. And then in the next row, because I started here, pressed, let me double check, I pressed to the dark, so I pressed to the light. Dark, light, dark, and then over here, I switch it again, and now I'm pressed dark and light. And, and if you can figure that out, <laughs> it, it really isn't that hard. You just have to have the pieces in front of you and, and look to see which way you pressed them. Yeah, because actually if you've pressed all of them the way we said, half of them one way, half the other, then the right number, you'll have yeah. the right number and it'll work. Yeah, and there's not that, even though there's five color combos, the only one that there's a lot of are, are these white and light. light. Yeah. The other ones you only have two. Yeah. So so it, you either, it goes here or it goes there. Right. Okay. So, after that confusing explanation. <laughs> and when I write up these instructions, trust me, I'm just writing up, press them open, because th this would be too hard to explain. So this is like a bonus <laughs> suggestion? torture or suggestion <laughs> for those watching the video. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna just do like we've been doing, and we're gonna sew together our rows and come back with our rows of, of the block. Okay. Okay, you got it, Shelly? There's a lot to do here, so let's get going, I uh, guess. I guess. <laughs> so we have our four rows already. Um, you know, one thing that I haven't mentioned uh, as we've been doing these half course triangles, um, if, you're, if you're a newer sewer, I, I want to point out that this, if you see this kind of um, where, where the it doesn't look right, like, oh, I lost, my point's not right. Remember, that's right, it, it needs to be a quarter inch down. So all of those where they look like they, they don't, like these look like they meet, which is fine, they should. But if you're if you're sewing it against a solid piece, mm -hmm. it, it's gonna look like that. And, and that's correct. Um, we did, 
You didn't mention when you were sewing these rows, after you sew them, press the seams open. Um, and now make sure they're 12 and a half inches long. Yes, you're, you're, each of these strips should be 12 and a half inches long, or they could be a, a tiny bit longer, but they can't be shorter. You're not, you're not gonna gain any inches anymore. No. Um, so now we're just gonna sew these rows together. Um, you know, I sew the top two, the bottom two, and then the center seam. You're gonna press these seams open. Otherwise, you're gonna have a big lump in the right. middle. And we will come back with our finished block. So we have our finished blocks and they, they look really good. Yeah. And um, I actually used, oh, show me, oh no you did, you used different darks in your corners, but mm -hmm. they still um, work and make that 3D effect. I did bring up my 12 and a half square inch ruler. So you can see it is 12 and a half inch square. Um, I don't know, on the last segment, you might have noticed I, I had a block turned. I had to fix that. No problem. All done. Anything else, Shelly? I can't think of anything. This was an interesting block. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so these blocks are due um, for the drawing at the Guild in October. Um, hopefully this isn't going to strain you with the quilt show coming up. But if you're seeing this now, be prepared. Our, our uh, Valley of the Mist Quilt Guild Quilt Show is the first Saturday in October, and we hope we'll see you at it. And um, um, hope if you're a guild member, you've got some quilts to show in it too. Yeah, that would be great. All right, <laughs> All right see you next month. <laughs>